Libras, welcome to your heart spread reading. It's for the first half of October, 1st to the 15th, call it, using the Gilded Tarot Royale deck today. Um, this eight card read, if you don't know, um, reads who's in your mind, who's on your mind, who's in your heart, um, who you're thinking of. It don't necessarily have to be with them. I also have, and always uh, on uh, Thursdays, which are Libra Scorpio Day, the singles reading too, Meet the Soulmate. As if you have no one on your mind. So that's basically the difference. <laughs> that when you're super single, completely single. So here we'll look at you and uh, your anima, animus projection, kind of first house, seventh house, and compare your energies and then see how you're doing together and get advice individually and as a couple, a uh, potential couple, I guess you'd say, since this reads who's on your mind. Sometimes I see you're not a couple and then I just shift the advice to you or to whoever's watching. Okay, so Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and I just keep that in mind. And um, like, subscribe, thumbs up, tell a friend, tell a friend. Um, appreciate it. Really do. All right. A special for astrological uh, readings, half price uh, for transit work, because I think it's important right now. I need the money. <laughs> and um, the, right now is a huge cycle is changing. Um, right now, it's like the next 20 or 30 years being set in motion. And if at no other time, take a look at where you're at with transit wise, and it's going to give you an idea of where, what's going to be going on for a long time. All right, guys, let's see what we got here for Libras. Where you're at. Seven of Pentacles energy. Okay, I mean, it's not bad. Probably a lot of us are in this boat or have been. Um, Seven of Pentacles uh, is the energy of uh, not having been reciprocated in because this is not your new person. This is kind of you where you're at. So trying to detach it, get a baseline. And if you're in this energy, it's from someone from the past. And very most likely they didn't reciprocate your attention, love. Uh, maybe they didn't pick up their end of the bills with pinnacles um, but with that energy coming in uh, there's going to be you're on the lookout for that so right away uh, if you text them do they text you back you text them you have to text them three times and they text you once or you know uh, with pinnacles I say it could be kind of real practical things like that um, let's see how your person is meeting this we're feeding it perfectly guys this is perfect way to meet the seven of pinnacles with the six of pinnacles and completely balanced um, so my guess this is a wonderful combination you know just look at these go so well together um, so your energy uh, uh, as you are in amongst yourselves <laughs> and them amongst themselves uh, you're, you're very compatible so in other words any relationship your person would win in go into um, they would be a, a do, do it in a balanced way they would be not with you or with anyone that they cared about um, you know, um, concerned about reciprocation is like a default setting for them or something. So that's a good start. Now let's see, this is going to show number three, how you're feeling towards them. Five of Swords, you're, something you're not liking. Uh, it, Five of Swords is being um, very negative towards them. So Libra, you're finding something. I would get the feeling you're not saying this to them though, but they are Swords. So it's thoughts or communication. You know what you're doing, but you could in your mind be really not liking something about them. The only thing I could think with this, I mean, it could be controlling. Let's just get a, let's do a, yeah, controlling. Uh, so uh, this is clarifying the seven of pinnacles. I don't want to say this is how you read a king of, of cups, but I think controlling with their emotions, there could be some passive aggressive, some like red flags that are, quite not red flags because you're not exactly sure maybe new uh, what they're doing um, but the, the bad side of a king of cups they could play emotional games you know uh, with you um, and kind of about kind of control and stuff oftentimes this is the kind of control it might not look like it from your end but it's all about they're afraid they're afraid um, so they could be coming with their six of pentacles then they could be coming from a position of pain and inequality and that's why they're wanting almost in order for them to make it seem like they're being equal um, they maybe have to give a lot like they have to run a, 
a lot to stay in the same place. If that makes any sense. Um, and maybe you're picking up on that too. And uh, just emotionally, it doesn't seem, maybe they don't seem sincere. Like maybe their words are there. You just don't get the feeling that they're matching because you're looking at thoughts and communication. Uh, that their feelings are matching their words. There would be some kind of underlying sense of their ins insincerity, what I want to say. Yeah, and so the way they're thinking about you, they want to marry you, uh, Libra. So couldn't be any different. I mean, they've got the four of wands in terms of how they're feeling about you, and you've got the five of swords. Um, but you, you are really, uh, if you're not, uh, I don't imagine you are vocalizing this yet because it'd be hard to imagine you're, vocalizing this pretty stiff pretty hard uh five of swords uh and then they'd still be like i want to marry you it'd be like whoa uh you know i think they'd have like the four of swords or instead of the four of wands um now let's see what your advice is here labra um more swords knight of swords now this is your advice from spirit and this knight is uh it's going back towards your seven of pentacles here so, you know, I told you we came in, you're bringing in this critical energy, Seven of Pentacles, from a past relationship, Libra. So, possibly, you're kind of projecting this onto your person. And so then the question becomes, when you're in this Five of Swords energy, did they really do anything that bad? They may have. But the fact that this knight is going back towards you, and that's the advice from Spirit... You know, because now, you know, the night comes in with a lot of strength. It's Mars energy, a lot of purpose, a lot of drive. And it wants, it's on a mission to find something out or to deliver a message. Find something out, or deliver it. King is like, go find this out, go take this message. I mean, it's a little both. That's what it does. It's like Mercury, too. It's here. So it's what Mercury does. It goes around getting messages from anywhere in the kingdom. It wants to go, it gets to go. But this is coming back at you. It's coming back to this whole, uh, because this one is not your last one. And if it is, then, I mean, that's on us, because then we got a pattern, and we're, that's always on us. Um, it kind of makes me wonder if what they're doing is really that bad, or if you're just extra sensitive to it right now. So let me know if that resonates. I'd love somebody to leave a comment. Oh, Ace of Pentacles. Now, this is their advice. Um, so... Ace of Pentacles is incredibly sincere, so this is the universe telling them this is very serious and you need your, if you're cross-watching or your person needs to be very serious and consider what they're doing. Um, they might be proposing marriage to you. I mean, you've got the Four of Wands over the Ace of Pentacles, and this would mean that they mean it, like they've thought about it and considered it, and it's not whimsical. It's uh, in the universe kind of backing that up, but the universe could also be saying, reminding your person, do you know what you're, because I said, like, they're in the four of wands energy and you're in the five of swords, like, but yeah, I got to be honest with you, it's a Libra thing where a lot of times you don't want to vocalize uh, what you really think or feel because you don't want to hurt the other person's feelings. Um, and so it leaves the other person in the four of wands energy thinking you're going to get married and you're kind of like, mm, I don't know. You know, but you maybe haven't really told them that yet. Okay. Um, the advice from spirits of Ten of Pentacles. You got something here, Libra. Um, there's going to have to be some kind of resolution. Because they're coming out with the Ace of Pentacles as advice. Your advice is to go back with intent, with a strong intention and amount of force into the Seven of Pentacles energy of not being reciprocated and really examine how much of that is real and how much of that applies to this particular relationship now. So, because your advice from spirit is to be uh, all in, uh, be grounded, give it everything that you've got. Um, the advice from spirit with the 10 of Pentacles is that really everything's fine. Everything's very solid. So I'll tell you this, believers, if you had any doubts about their sincerity, maybe they can't, came in kind of fast with this you know, with this uh, Four of Wands energy, you know, wanting to marry you, and Ace of Pentacles, and being very sincere about it, you know. Like, it might even been more scary, because they really thought it through. You'd have been like, well, if they just kind of were drunk and just came up and like, I don't want to marry you in Vegas, you know, that might have been even better. But they've actually thought it through and thought about your jobs and your futures and your lifestyles and 
you know, um, it's something really solid about this offer. And it, it's not just that you're running back, but you maybe should run back to yourself and check and see where you're really at. Because I like this. That tells me with the Ten of Pentacles that there's something really uh, solid there for you guys as a couple. Ace. <laughs> Three of Swords. Okay, and you've got the Five of Swords and the Knight of Swords. I could just turn him down this offer. It's hard to see this uh, Three of Swords any other way. It's in the outcome position of the heart spread. Um, and I think like what you got here is a really solid offer. And I think you're just flat out rejecting it. It's like there's something about it that you're not buying. You think it's insincere. Uh, I'm not really sure if that's entirely true. I think it, if it is true, then you're catching it because it, you would say to yourself, hey, I knew it, I knew it, because that's the way they are. So they would be acting sort of much like you expected them probably going in. Well, you know how this is going to be. You know how it is. And then, bam, it is. And you've got the Three of Swords here as an outcome lever. So um, let me know what you think, guys. Um, I'm really curious about this one. Um, if, if this is your conclusion, then that's your conclusion. It's just, uh, obviously there's a lot going on here with you guys. Um, and it's always your call here. So I'd say right now with the kind of energy we're in, it's a, it's a good time to cut something off because you don't want to go down that road for the next 20 or 30 years if it's not where you want to be in 20 or 30 years because with the Five of Swords energy, uh, that's uh, uh, that's a lot of red flags of Five of Swords energy um, popping up, okay? So I think I get it why you have the Three of Swords for an outcome here. All right, thank you guys.